DreAllDay.com. I told you I was going to do this video where I explain this concept. And by the way, just in case any of y'all didn't know, everything I talk about in these short videos, like when I'm driving and stuff, I do full podcast episodes on these. My podcast is called Work on Your Game Masterclass. It's actually a masterclass. I just say podcast so y'all know what I'm talking about. But my show is not a podcast, it's a masterclass. It is free every day. Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud, look it up. It's called Work on Your Game. Anyway, now on this topic, I told you I was going to talk about principles, strategies, and tactics to help you all understand the hierarchy of how you make decisions in life. And it goes in that order. Your principles, I talked about this a couple videos back. Your principles are the overarching, unchanging, solid pillars of what your life is about, how you operate, how you make decisions, and they usually do not change very much. They're pretty pretty um, stable and pretty consistent, your principles. So a principle, for example, is if you're a parent, your principle might be, I never let anything happen to my children. That's a principle. If you're a person who's in shape, you pride yourself on being in good shape, your principle might be, I'm never going to be fat and out of shape. That's a principle. If you're a, a principle might be, if you're in a relationship, your principle might be, I'll never, never go to bed angry at my significant other. That's a principle. Another principle could be, if you're a, um, when it comes to money, your principle might be, I always have, I always got some kind of money deal going on. I always got something going on to make myself more money because I'm always going to have some money in my pocket. I'm always going to be, I'm always going to take care of myself financially. That's a principle. So whatever your principles are, you decide, you decide what those principles are, but they usually do not change. If you change a principle, that might you might only change the principle a couple times ever in your life, but those principles usually stay pretty much where they are. And based on what your principles are, that's how you decide your strategies. Your strategies are the big picture mission, basically like the mission objectives of everything that you do. So for example, if I have a principle that I'm a person who always stays in shape, then I might have a strategy. Actually, I could use myself as an example here. For a while, I had a strategy of playing basketball. That was my way of staying in shape. And to play basketball, you got to be in good shape. And to play at the pro level, you got to be in amazing shape. So I worked out every day to stay in that amazing shape because my strategy at the time was I want to play professional basketball. I want to keep my career moving forward. I want to be in my best possible state as a player so that every time I play in the game, I have the opportunity to play at my best and possibly dominate the game and win the game and win trophies and admiration and make money, et cetera, et cetera. So that was the strategy. The strategy to follow my principle of always being in shape was, my principle was I'm an athlete, which means I'm always in shape. The strategy for some time was basketball. I don't play basketball anymore. So my, the new strategy that I picked up after I stopped playing basketball, I said I still had to do something so I could stay in really, really good shape, even if it's not going to be basketball. So I started running. So now I do runs like I've run a couple marathons. I've done half marathons. I've run a couple 10Ks. I got two 10Ks coming up this November, as a matter of fact. So that's my new strategy for adhering to my principle of being an athlete and staying in great shape. The strategy is now running. You get what I'm saying? And the tactics, let me go to the tactics. When I was playing basketball, my tactic for following that strategy was go to the gym every day, plan out my workouts, and work on my game. And I happened to record them and put them on video and put them on YouTube. That's how a lot of people came to know me. My tactics now is I run usually three times a week, usually somewhere between six and seven and a half miles, and then I get in 10K races because I can go do that and I can win some 10Ks and you know, keep collecting medals. That's fun for me. Those are the tactics for me. Now, maybe one day I might decide to stop running. At some point, I'm going to stop running. And when I stop running, I might do, like, for example, now I do boxing training, but I'm not, like, trying to get in a bunch of boxing matches. I'm not trying to do that. But I might decide to go, you know, put a little bit more time into boxing. Maybe I'll start working out more days a week in boxing and, you know, get more training and do more sparring and stuff like that. Maybe. Maybe I'll do something like play golf. Maybe I'll buy a bicycle, like one of those expensive bicycles that costs like $3,000 and start being a cyclist. Maybe I'll do that to stay in shape if I decide to stop running. Those are all tactics that go with the strategy. But the strategies, again, the tactics are governed by the strategies. The strategies are governed by the principles. And the principles usually don't change. And we go even a level higher. Your principles are governed by your identity. So actually, it should be four instead of three. So your identity as a person 
decides what your principles will be. Based on your principles, you choose strategies to live out those principles. Based on those strategies, you choose, you choose tactics to make the strategies actually come to life and make them happen, to complete the mission objective of the strategy. So if you feel like your tactics, meaning the things you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, are not getting you the outcomes you want, you're not getting the results you want in your life, then what you need to do is not say, what's wrong with me because I'm not following these tactics. What you need to look at actually is what is the strategy that is leading to these tactics that either you are doing that are not working, tactics that are not, are not working, or they're leading to tactics that you're telling yourself to do but you're simply not doing it. There's something about those tactics that's leading you to not do them. You need to find out what that is. And there's something about your strategy that is causing that. And I'm gonna get back to that in a second. If your strategy is not working, you need to look at your principles. If your principles are not getting you what you want, you need to look at your self-identity. Now. Some of you have a challenge before we even get to any of those higher level things is that you're doing a whole bunch of tactics every day. They are either not working or you are not working them for whatever reason. And then what I just said was you need to look at your strategies. Here's the problem for some of you. You don't have a strategy. Some of you don't have a strategy. You don't have principles and you don't even know what your self identity is. Therefore, all you have is tactics. So every day you're just running around doing different tactics and trying different stuff and let me do this and let me do this. All right, that didn't work, let me do this. That didn't work, let me do this. All right, I don't know about this, let me do this. And every day you're just trying different tactics. And where you end up in, and I talked about this on my podcast, it's called tactical hell. If you don't know what tactical hell is, tactical hell is when you're running around doing different tactics, moment by moment, day by day, but there's no big picture idea for where they are taking you. Therefore, no matter how much you do, you always feel like you're stuck in a rut and you don't know where you're going next. You always feel lost. Any of you ever feel, any of you feel lost all the time and you don't know where you're going and you don't know what's going to happen next and you feel like you're working but it's not really taking you anywhere? That's what we call tactical hell. If you find yourself in that place, you are in tactical hell. And the way you get out of tactical hell is you must become strategic so you can get out of being tactical all the time. There's nothing wrong with having tactics, but tactics should have a, a parent. It's kind of like having, being, having a two-year-old kid with no mom and no dad. They're just running around in the streets. It's not, it's not going to end up good for that kid. So the two-year-old kid has parents. The parents direct where the two-year-old kid goes and what they do. You get what I'm saying? So you need strategy. And then above strategy comes principles. And above principles is your self-identity. And when you're not clear on your self-identity, then it's easy to get caught up in tactical hell because you have no idea where to go or what to do. And you have no reason for why you go somewhere or why you do what you do. This is where a lot of you get yourself stuck. So now that I helped you out, let me tell you two things to do. Number one, go to workonyourgame.net slash apply and schedule a time to get on my calendar so you can talk to me directly about these kind of things so we can figure out what strategies you need to get you to the outcomes that you actually want so you can stop running around here like a chicken with your head cut off and living in tactical hell. That's where a lot of you are living. You want to get out of tactical hell, I will help you, but you got to get on a call with me. Go to workonyourgame.net slash apply. And number two, text me at my number, which is 305-384-6894. And every day when I send out my daily motivation text message, you will receive it for free straight to your phone. That number and that link that I just said are both down below in the show notes. Work on your game. Dre, all.